Hey guys, it's Sebastian from Ask Sebi, and today we are going to talk about what cards are in my wallet for April of 2019. To understand April though, we will have to start back at March, and this was my wallet. So we've talked about this in a prior video, but we have the Hilton Ascents card, we have the Alaska Business card, Freedom card, as well as the Gold card. So these two are pretty self-explanatory given their multipliers and stuff. These two are actually going to be leaving my wallet for April, or they left my wallet for April, and the main reason is because it didn't make sense to keep them in because I'm done the minimum spend or the specific spend that I was going for. So for the Alaska business card, I'm done the minimum spend. There's not really a point of it being in my wallet anymore. And then for the Hilton Ascends card, there is a 15,000 free night where you, after you spend $15,000, you get an additional free night. I had a bunch of taxes to pay due to some investment income, due to some trades I made, technically not even capital gains. So I had to pay the full since I'm done that $15,000, it doesn't make sense for it to be in my wallet. If anything, I'm probably going to try to upgrade this to a second Aspire card, waiting for an upgrade offer, but haven't really seen one yet. I might still upgrade anyways without an offer because it makes that much sense. And as an Ascends card at this point, it serves no purpose for me. For April, we're going to replace those two cards with two new cards. And before we dive into that though, if you are someone who wants to check out the Sephora card review, Mandy does have a review on her channel. So it's a bit more of a humanistic, personable, non-robot channel. Not that I'm a robot because I'm 100% human, but if you are someone who wants to check out that channel, go do that, throw it a like and subscribe if you wanna see more content from her, I'm trying to get her to do a video every week. So if you have any ideas and stuff, feel free to leave a comment. Her channel is called Mandy Roams, and it'll also be in the link down below if you want to go check it out and you don't want to type anything. For April, this is going to be what's in my wallet. So I have the Discover It card, going to try to use it at 7-Eleven in order to get 5% back for some gift cards because my Amazon balance is running low, and also Hotels.com also running low, but I'm not sure if I want to reload on that many of those at this point. And if you aren't sure what I'm talking about, if you're confused at how I'm getting 5% back there, we do a whole review video for the Q2 for Discover on a separate video. So you'll see everything there and I'll probably be answering a lot of the questions that you have right now in that video. For me, it makes sense to lock in that 5% back, especially for smaller purchases where I'm not relying. If I'm buying something that doesn't matter where I don't need extended warranty, that fills in the spot pretty well. On top of that is going to be the Delta Platinum card from American Express. The main reason it's in my wallet is because there is a waiver program where if you spend a certain amount of money, $25,000, then you do not need to hit MQDs. MQDs are mileage qualifying dollars. So if you want to have status, there's two things you need to hit. Either you have to have segments or you have to have a certain number of miles that you need to fly. And in addition to those two things, you're going to need to spend a certain amount of money or you have to have the waiver that we're hitting with this card. I travel quite a bit, but for deals, I tend to look for economy stuff. And then there are some business class deals as well. But for those, I'm more agnostic in terms of the alliance and teams and stuff like that. So if it is something from Cafe, I'm going to sign up for that Cafe deal, even though it doesn't earn me any miles for Delta for my status, because it's a good deal. This might mean that I have a lot of physical miles traveled, but I might not be spending enough to get status. So hitting this waiver ends up helping a lot. Side note, as a Delta Platinum, I've been getting about 90% upgrade odds into and out of SFO, so I'm not sure if I'm lucky or maybe I'm not traveling when the other consultant people are traveling, but pretty good experience. On the other side, we have the Gold card as well as the Freedom card. The Gold card, 4x back for dining, and then for the Freedom card, 5x back for grocery stores for this quarter. So you could make the argument, well, wouldn't you want 4x American Express points back? And I'd rather actually have 5x Chase points because for me, they're about the same value and they kind of serve different roles. Chase points are more so, in my experience, to be used towards Hyatt's, while American Express points, you're looking at business class and that type of stuff. So it's kind of a balancing act. And if anything, it works hand in hand that one is for dining and one is for grocery for now. Again, if you want more information on the Freedom Card for their quarter and stuff, we have a whole video on that, walking through everything, walking through what codes and all the stuff you need to know about. For the gold card, I think we've talked about it enough that we have a few videos at this point. So I would watch those if you're a bit confused in terms of the methodology, in terms of understanding the multipliers, why it might make sense for you and everything else. Overall, pretty straightforward month since I didn't really add any cards. 
I might end up looking to add a few things for next month though because I'm technically past the two year clock for city thank you points. So I might look into the premier card and there's a few other cards that are on my list that I might go for more of a maintenance month this month as you can tell just swapping stuff in that I needed to swap in anyways that made sense. If you want to learn more about any of the cards that we talked about, if it is a card that gives you positive expected value, pretty easy way to support our channel would be to use the links on our sites or in the description box down below. Hopefully that was helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions. My question for you guys is what cards are in your wallet for this month? I realize it's a bit late, but hopefully this is still a bit helpful and next month should be a bit more interesting. If you do want to check out the Sephora review or just some of Mandy's thoughts on different cards, go to her channel, subscribe, or like that video, and leave a comment on her channel if you want to see her take on a specific card. So maybe she has a different thought process on the Chase Sapphire Reserve or the Freedom or whatever else, a more humanistic, non-robot take. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out. If you know anyone else who would benefit from what we just talked about, please share this with them because it will probably help them out. But otherwise, hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time. Bye.